Well, here's my first crack at a bell siphon from my aquaponics system that I'm going to be building. You can see I got it's coming in at a very slow trickle. The, uh, got a couple slits cut at the bottom of this guy. Um, I see that through there. Just some random parts. The black stuff is actually from a hydroponics supply store. So it was pretty nice. Well, the tall part was a a riser uh, for a um, sprinkler system. So the part that's actually going through the wall, the bulkhead, is uh, from a hydroponic store. There's a piece of a sprinkler system in there and just a random PVC that, to make the top wider, hopefully to get more suction. I uh, tried it once with some little bitty hose. This uh, like half inch stuff. And it siphoned. It, I had to lift the bell to get it to go. So I put on some bigger hose and uh, put on a bigger bulkhead. I had two sizes. And I trimmed a little bit off the bottom of that bell. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I will uh, turn this back on when it actually starts siphoning assuming that it does. Okay, here we go again. Um, tried to record this earlier and my phone ran out of memory so I had to dump some stuff. Anyways, uh, I ran this thing through once with this new hose. I, uh, I'd done it once earlier with a half inch hose down there and uh, siphon didn't seem to want to get going. I lifted the bell and it started pumping then when I tried to pick the bell up off of there. I uh, changed out the, I had two sizes, I changed out to a three-quarter inch uh, bulkhead and a three-quarter inch hose. So hopefully I get a little more flow, because that's a rather tiny standpipe with a three-inch. Uh, it would probably work better if this was a two-inch with the size that I have in there. But um, I ran this once with this configuration, and there was like no waiting. Once that, it didn't... There wasn't a trickle before it started gushing. It just went full blast right away. And the siphon broke. But then when it went to refill, my bell started to float. I'm not sure why that was. Because there's nothing obstructing the hose. So I would think that any air that was under there would work its way down and out that hose. But I'm trying to get to where you can see all of this. Because that thing's going to go any second now I would think and this is just a trial I don't even have my water pump right now I'm uh just grabbed a piece you know container I know that thing's not suitable for a grow bed just, a it's transparent B it's not strong enough uh I guess I could reinforce it and make it work but uh I'm just using it to try this out. And we should have water in any time now. This thing's not level either, so it's gets kind of full on one side. I probably should cut that bell down just a hair also. It's going to get a little bit too full because this is why I picked this thing is it is 12 inches high, which is what I understand is the size or the depth you want your grow bed. So whatever I get is going to be about that depth so that bell siphon should work and it looks like the bell siphon is actually trying to float again I don't know what's causing that if any of y'all have any uh, ideas I gotta thank my youtubers out there because I've watched video after video of you, know, you guys and your examples of these bell siphons and heard about what a pain they are to make and it took you a couple days to dial them in and I literally worked on this thing for I don't know, 8 to 10 minutes after listening and watching y'all's videos. So, y'all did a good job. They were very, very helpful and apparently allowed me to miss a lot of the mistakes and trial and error that y'all had to go through. Um, if any of y'all know why my bell siphon's trying to go on a trip, I don't know. I'd like to know why that is. Did I cut it too short or... This seems... I mean, there's about an inch or close to two inches. The inside stand was a little a hair under eight inches, and uh, I cut that thing to ten and a half. 
And I did shave a tiny little bit off the bottom, but it shouldn't be so much that the air can't get out of there. I'll have to recheck that. Maybe I cut too much and just didn't realize it. But, uh, oh, looks like we're getting a little trickle there. Water's starting to come out. Hopefully that'll settle my bell down too. I didn't get this trickle the first time. I just got a gush instantly. Well, it could take very long though. There we go. Boom. And, uh, I think that's still crooked. I don't have to deal with it. It rests. It's not. I'll have to take it out and re-measure it and see if uh, I didn't cut it too small. I'm going to make one other quick little video without the bell. Another type of siphon I saw. I've only seen one video of it, and so I don't know how many people are aware of it, but it appeared to work rather well. In fact, I'm going to break this siphon so I don't have to wait for this thing to fill all back up again so I can show you all that. Okay. This is how this one works. I'm going to take this off. I'm holding the hose in my hand that has the camera in it, so it's up above the level of the water. So we can't get any water out of there, but you take that guy off. And the theory is, you set this at a loop on the side, and if the top of that loop is about at the water level, you start to get flow, and you get a siphon. So you can just secure the hose at the water level, and you'll get a siphon, as you can see, and you bring it back up above the level of the water, and you lose that siphon again. But I got just a hole there, and I can put a screen, uh, the um, bulkhead fitting I bought from the, has these screens that screw right in there, which are kind of nice. But uh, again, with the water level here, and you just put the top of the loop of your hose, once it gets below water level, you get that. And it'll start, and it'll just keep on trucking.